I'll work on once again. Glory to God. Okay, so I want to talk today about my about my videos. So many of my videos I'm talking about pastors. Why am I talking about them? I would be crazy or I would be so stupid to be talking about pastors if God did not send me. Because the damage, the damage, they don't even need to fight, fight any man or anyone. If the pastors that one is talking about, if they are truly anointed by God, and you dare talk about them, it is a swift judgment from God. God fights for any man or any woman that he called and anointed and put his spirit upon. If you dare talk about that man, even when that man is making a mistake, or when that man is drawn in sin, you dare talk about that man. The anger of God, God's judgment will descend upon you swiftly. But if those pastors are not called by God, they call themselves, or they are the devil called them, they anointed themselves, if you are talking about them, you are bringing joy. They are bringing joy to God. They are bringing happiness to the heart of God. God commissioned me to go ahead, first of all, to naked any pastor, any, any, any devilish man or woman clothed themselves with garments of pastor or proselytes of pastor or apostle or bishop or evangelist or without them they give themselves or elder any title they like they should give themselves god said to me as long as they use this title and they are causing my sheep pains and agony they are drawing their, their souls to death god said i am with you i will use you to deal with them so god any, that's why anytime god repeat to me say this pastor is like this. This pastor is like this. I don't. I don't care. I go ahead and speak and talk as God instructed me. This is the reason you see me. I talk about pastors. It is very very dangerous when you are talking about pastors or true men of God, true men of God, are not there by God. If we are talking against against them. God answers you immediately, not even them answering you. God answer, answer, because you are not allowed. That's this is the scripture that works for a for a true man of God. Say, touch not my anointed. It only work for those that God anointed, not for self anointed or devil anointed. If you talk against a true man of God. That scripture called fire and, 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 and burn you to ashes and descend on you. Because you are not allowed to talk about a man or a woman anointed by God. God is the one that fights for those that he sent for work, for those he anointed and commissioned for work. God is the one that fights for them. They don't fight for themselves, God fights for them. If you dare, touch them or talk about them or point every finger against them, you are you are incurring the judgment, the anger of God. So if I am talking about them by myself or by my by my selfish interest, or by now, I know by now I will I will not be, I will not be. I will not be. Because I know the I know what is in it. I know. Okay. Now, why is it that God is so much angry for faith pastors? Because they are agents of Satan. They are taking the souls of men and the women that is thinking that they are anointed by God. Because you are going to church, you are going to a man of God for him to 
teach you the word of God, for him to speak into your, into your life through the Spirit of God and send you to heaven. The main purpose of we going to church or going to hear from a, a man of God is for him to tell us what God wants from us, what God is saying, for, for, for them to guide us in the path of life, in the path of righteousness, so that we, at the end, we make heaven. It's for our soul. It's for our soul. It's our soul. The main purpose of going to church is for your soul. Just wait a minute. For me. Okay, so like what I'm trying to say, the purpose of you going to church is for your soul to be sound and healthy, for your soul to be pros you know, prosperous. At the end of the day, you will make heaven. Brethren, I wish above all things that you shall prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. The prosperity is in the soul. The prosperity is in the soul. If anything happens to your soul negatively, you are gone. If there is no eternity, I want to ask you a question. If there is no eternity, there is no way the devil will be asking you for your soul. People that, that join Illuminati, the thing that devil was asking is to, give, to drop their soul, to give their soul. The same way Jesus did not want anything from you, but for you to give your soul, for you to surrender your soul. So the person you, 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 you surrender your soul to matters. If you surrender your soul to a pastor that is serving death, that's what serving the devil, he will just take your soul down to hell straight away because you trusted him that is a true man of God and you, you open up your soul and put it in his hand. The devil doesn't care about anything. If before the devil can give you money or he tells you to, to give your soul, to draw, to, 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 to give your soul. Give your soul and I'll give you fame. The same thing he appeared to Jesus and he said to him, All these kingdoms I will give to you and it's good. If you will bow, bow me down. If you bow down to me, it's, it's not if you can give yourself to me, if you can give your your, your soul, because inside of this, inside of Jesus' soul, is loaded all the all the good thing, good things you can you can think of. Silver is more than the soul, the soul of just more than silver and gold, more than any private jet, more than any car, more than any mansion, more than any other thing you can think about. That is the main reason. The devil always asks you for your soul so that he can take it to eternal, to hell, to eternal destruction, so that you will not be able to enjoy good. He'll give you a temporal, a temporal pressure and destroy you eternal and put you in eternal torment. Jesus also wants your soul to heal your soul, to save your soul, to heal your soul, to deliver your soul, and to cause prosperity. To flow from the inside of you because anything you possess that is not from you, that is not that that is not something that came out of you, something that you left, something, something that you work out, any other things you acquired by belong to this court, I will make you fame and you make you rich and you, you belong, you, you, you drop your soul, then they pump your money, pump your jet, pump your uh, uh, um, uh, 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 all kind of big cars. You are flirting with women, you know, you are flirting with women, sexing one woman to another, just temporal. Then they destroy that soul. What does soul destroy? The little pressure the person, the person experiences, that person is going to live eternal in pain. And Jesus knows this. That's why he came to die to save our soul. So anybody who is who is tampering with your soul is your number one enemy. Anybody, your soul is the, is the center of your life, the center of your power, the center of your joy, the center of your prosperity, the center of everything that 
is more precious than anything, your soul. More precious than anything. And you must be careful the person you 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 trust you trust you trust in or you are trusted to give your soul, to hand your soul over to. So Jesus is not happy because so many pastors are dragging the souls of God's children to hell. That's why he said, expose them this end time. Their father, the devil, pawned them on, 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 on countable for them to go and fish the souls of men. And the more they are sending the souls to hell, the more the devil is raising money, material things to them. The devil tell t- them, let us do business. Be bringing the soul and be giving material things. And they are happy doing it. So Jesus is in pain for seeing this happen. And that's why he has decided this end time to save his own children and to flush these fake pastors to everlasting pains and the torment and, and, and misery forever. So one, why you see me talking with passion is because of the pains I'm seeing these fake pastors, fake men of God, fake churches bringing upon the souls of men and women that trusted them and, and give their love and give their soul. Because giving your soul is you are giving your love. You are giving the, 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 your highest treasure. Your soul is the highest treasure that lives forever. And where your soul will live eternal matters a lot, matters a lot. If your soul is in heaven, you are going to enjoy from this this life to everlasting life. If your soul is in hell, the person is going to, from this earth, be tormented eternally. So that's why we are preaching the gospel. The devil wants your soul. Jesus wants your soul. The devil wants your soul for destruction, for destruction, for torment, for pain. Jesus wants your soul for prosperity, for good health, for happiness, for eternal life. So if you hear me, don't be don't, 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 don't misunderstand me and don't be offended. I cannot talk about any true man of God that God revealed to me. I begin to talk bad about him. I'm very careful. It is a sensitive matter talking about men or women of God that are called themselves pastors or men or women or bishop or anything. So it is a sensitive matter. I am careful in doing what I'm doing. So together we can join hand and we can join hand together and approach evil, deceit, wickedness, agent of darkness, call themselves pastors, bishops, apostles, evangelists that the devil have promised them Hunt for the souls of men for eternal destruction. I will give you jets. I will give you Lamborghini, Rose Rose, Cadillac, mansions of a mansion. So, and I'm, I'm, I am out to end their career. I am God, Jesus raised me. God raised me to end their career. So, I am well prepared. I want you to join. Join me. Join the two believers in Christ to forge down the evil we are seeing today in the church. In the name of pastors, men of God, women of God, a, 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 a bishop, apostle, all these things have become a, a, a scam because they know that if they don't come and call and say men of God, women of God, church, that they will not catch. So the devil gave them that tricks to use those titles, to use those names. And men, will, men and women will trust them because they know that, the devil himself knows that the only one that is good is Jesus. And the devil knows that only him destroy him. And he doesn't want people to go and enjoy with Jesus forever. When you give your life to Jesus, enjoyment starts from you. Though it is not easy, battle starts. Why is the battle start? Because the devil is angry that your soul has been taken away from him and that you are saved, that you are now in a right a right place for enjoyment. So he made you say, I do to Jesus. And I do not, I know I, I disconnect and divorce the devil and I say I do to Jesus. He becomes angry. Attacks. 
you begin to attack repetitions. Turn fame, walking out of salvation with fear and trembling, you are heading to everlasting life, everlasting happiness, everlasting prosperity, everlasting peace. I have said it the way I feel it is good for me to say it. Have you given your life to Jesus? This is my question. If you have not done that, say after me, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my life. I divorce the devil. I divorce every demon. I say yes to Jesus, the righteous one that died for my soul. I give my soul to Jesus alone. Jesus saved my soul from this deceitful men, from these fake pastors, from this evil, from the, from the agents of the devil, from the agent, from the agents of darkness that call that is parading them out there, parading as men of God, the agents of, the, of darkness, Jesus saved my soul from them. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write it now in the book of life. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen.